Okay, today I'm going to show you my setup for recording NTSC tapes onto DVD. Now, the system I've got here starts with this uh, second hand uh, Panasonic Super Drive, which is switchable. I only found this out today, but you can set the output to NTSC. So if you have an you know if you had an American TV system this will actually output genuine NTSC 3.58 and not the uh, 448 uh, PAL 60 clone thing that <clears throat> a lot of recorders seem to recognize and and don't like so there you can see the uh, the model number DMR E75V and that is currently set in NTSC mode so um, the DVD side of it I haven't tested I only picked this system up today but here's the tape I'm going to get an NTSC copy of uh, the 1944 film Winston this will start to play almost immediately one of the beautiful things of this machine is uh, the speed in which it rewinds it to a whole tape in about 45 seconds or, or less. So, as you can see, that's playing. The output was just coming out through the com um, component or composite leads at the back. I just feed that through a switcher, which is currently set, and then I run those leads into this little box which is a digital converter and as you can see it's set at 3.58 and the output is set at PAL which then plugs into the back of this lovely little uh, NV75 um, uh, the reason I run it through here is because I can I can use it to, to adjust the volume so I can I can boost or reduce the volume on this um, and because this is passing PAL through it I can then if I choose run it through this recorder and I can just record the PAL onto a disc and if you look up here well, there's a bit of flicker but uh, as you can see the picture quality is pretty good you always seem on these systems to get a little bit of flicker at the bottom down here and I don't know I've never actually managed to get rid of that but once I've got this onto DVD I then rip it to uh, uh, an mp4 usually with a, a fairly high bit rate of at least two 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 and a half thousand megabits per second and then using a bit of software like Wondershare or something, I can I can just chop that tiny bit off the bottom if it's annoying. So there you have it. A nice little setup. I do have other equipment which I was using. Um, that bottom machine there is a Panasonic AG6200, the recorder, and that machine is what I was using previous to this. Um, because again that's switchable to true NTSC so it was working through that converter but being a machine although previously owned by the BBC it just doesn't hold up to the quality you know it's 40 years old that thing whereas this little beauty is probably 20 or less and as an added bonus player it's an SVHS player as well so it's got the um, SQPB system so although it's playing a standard VHS at the moment this will play super VHS tapes um, I don't know if they I've never seen an NTSC super VHS tape but I'm sure that this system would handle it um, for those of you that might be looking to pick up a model of the uh, DMRE 75 it came with this manual and as you can see 
That's DMR ES30 VEB. Um, I assume maybe one of these is the European version. Um, but anyway, it's the it's obviously the same player. It looks the same. Yeah, the operating instructions are are the same. So there's the setup. Any questions? I might be able to help with and you can just drop me a message in the comments and I hope this helps you guys out if you're ever looking to, for a solution like I was to getting a a pretty good solid NTSC tape I mean this tape is probably close to 30 years old and I've got to say I'm pretty happy with that I said the picture quality is fantastic on throughout the whole system take care guys